You never guess what happened to me at Cassie's hideout. That shady gun runner can't be trusted. So I bumped into the snitch. You know, this handsome fellow in the Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, that douche. He told me Cassie was in town, so I thought I'd swing on by on my way to kill some fools at a nearby control point. So right away, I felt like something fishy was going on when I saw all the empty sleeping cots, it being nighttime and all. Where were all the usual crackies that hang around? You know, these weirdos? Ignoring my division agent intuition, I proceeded to check her out anyways. And sure enough, it was an ambush. I take out this fool and dismiss the incident as a coincidence. Then sure enough, more foolios try to take me out while I'm peeping her shit. I've spent a lot of time in the summit and I've seen my share of ambushes. So I think I'd recognize an ambush when I see one. And that, my banditos, was a freaking ambush. So whatever you do this week, watch your back when you visit the gun runner. She's up to no good. That being said, let me run through her probably stolen gear and let you know if there's anything worth risking your life over. Now that I think about it, I'm risking my life to give you this hot or not list. So I'd appreciate that like at the least. Comment if you care and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And by the way, we have some cool things happening at my Discord. So if you want to experience the Division 2 in new and exciting ways, which is desperately needed right now, then come check us out. Let's get to that hot or not list. So her thing is named items. That's what we're after when we risk our lives to seek her out. The glory days? Not that exciting, and the rules are so-so. It is interesting if you think about it to see accuracy on it though. Considering perfect nearsighted is giving 100% stability on this piece, I'm almost tempted to buy it to build around it. I mean, the thing would probably handle like a laser beam in theory. It'd probably hit harder than the rail splitter, which is one of my favorite weapons for sure. Anyways, it's not gonna make the hot list cause the rules suck. The percussive maintenance named out summit backpack has never really made a ton of sense to me. We have a skill damage talent on a repair skills backpack, which screams hybrid, but not a very exciting one. Has anybody made a good bill for this that actually excites you? If so, I'd love to hear about it. Let us know in the comments below. The shield splinter is a weapon locked behind the every keys you get by taking out the DC hunters. If you haven't done that, you won't see this. Every reach she has a new version to sell. It's not my favorite, but it does have good power, no doubt, and perfect optimus on it is amazing. It's a solid talent. Anyways, this one is not hot. The hunter killer chest is like the shield splinter in that you need to defeat all of the warlord New York hunters and get the off-white keys in order to access it. I like the idea of a hybrid skill damage intimidate build but the rolls are not that nice so not hot striker backpack nah not hot aces chest nope not hot true patriot gloves nope not hot future knees or knees from the future decent but not special so not hot striker holster well this is interesting i've been thinking about a hybrid with this set so I'm gonna pick these up. I'm not calling them hot because the rolls aren't that great, but I wanna play around a little bit. What would I pair these up with, you think? The capacitor to get those stacks out faster or something with the test subject? That RPM needs a little help on that weapon. Give me your ideas. Let's see if we can make something cool together that I can put a bit out on. Someone start a conversation in the comments below with an idea. There's no such thing as bad ideas. Hardwired with Hasbro. Junk, not hot. PP19, ah. Uh, the cold relations is better, way better. So not hot. Oh, this one has first blood on it. Not horrible. I used to like that talent back in the day, but now I find it difficult to be useful. Anybody dig this talent or use the pinprick named MMR? I'd love to hear about it. I've been thinking about doing something with the pinprick. Ideas would help. Let me know in the comments. Overlord, not hot. Fenris mask, wow, this one's all over the place. Yuck, not hot. Let's just buy press the rest. So nothing made the hot list this week. No surprises here, but we have some things to work on agents. So let's get the conversation going here and in the Discord on the Bill Talk server. So we need to talk about the Striker skill damage hybrid and if anybody has some good ideas for the pinprick. Also, if anybody's made a build around that Alp Summit backpack. Speaking of hybrids, this is the Sucker Punch, which is a point blank one tap and off with their head skill damage hybrid build you can use to get your heart rate up while playing Heroic and Legendary. Tuxedo, out. everything follow me